Hello, this is Apex Special Report brought to you by the Da Nang Radio and Television. At a recent meeting to review the preparatory work for the Apex Economic Leaders Week 2017, Deputy Prime Minister, Minister of Foreign Affairs, Chairman of the National Committee on Apex 2017, Phạm Bình Minh, highly praised Da Nang City, Quảng Nam Province, the subcommittees under the National Committee on Apex 2017. The APEC 2017 National Secretariat and the relevant agencies for having great effort in actively preparing for the event. So far, the preparation in facilities at all hotels, convention centers, international media center, and other main venues, which will take place the official and sideline events of the APEC Economic Leaders Week 2017, has been basically accomplished on time and ensure the set requirements. Deputy Prime Minister Ming also asked the relevant agencies to ensure absolute security, food safety, as well as create favorable conditions for leaders, delegates, guests, journalists, organizations, and individuals participating in the APEC Economic Leaders Week. The involved agencies need to have synchronous coordination and avoid mistakes, contributing to leaving good impression of the country and people of Vietnam on international friends. On October the 5th morning, the second advanced visit in preparation for APEC Economic Leaders Week 2017 took place with the attendance of 20 delegations representing 20 APEC member economies. Compared to the first advanced visit in July, there has been an increase in the number of delegations participating in this visit. The delegations continue to reveal the important tasks in preparation for the APEC Economic Leaders Week, including the reception protocols, information of security and healthcare, activities and sideline events, as well as information about the media throughout the APEC Week. These delegations visit the venues chosen for APEC Economic Leaders Week events and help bilateral meetings with the host country, Vietnam, to set out their requirements for support. As assessed by the delegations during the advance visit, the city's preparation for this event has been almost completed and ready for the APEC Economic Leaders Week in the forthcoming November. The Invest Da Nang 2017 Forum, taking place in the city from the 14th and 15th of October, is the most important event on the sideline of APEC Economic Leaders Week 2017. This is regarded as an opportunity to promote the investment potentials and opportunities of the city, as well as offer the local government's package of support to domestic and international businesses of all sectors, including information technology. Besides investing in improving the infrastructure and clarifying policies to attract investment into IT, increasing the connection with domestic and international IT enterprises, as well as supporting the IT businesses to be benefited from the mechanisms, financial sources, taxation, the city has made a great deal of effort to accelerate the progress of completing the construction of the software parks and centralized IT park to provide a wider choice of space and premises for IT businesses. With the motto of accompanying businesses, Da Nang will continue to find ways to resolve businesses' obstacles and challenges as well as study, supplement, improve and issue more mechanisms and policies to maximize the support for the IT industry's development in order to make it the spirit sector of the city in the future. On the occasion of the Fire Prevention Day October the 4th, the city's Fire Prevention and Fighting Police Department launched a campaign on ensuring fire safety and rescue for the APEC Economic Leaders Week 2017. Leader of the city's Fire Prevention and Fighting Police Department emphasized the importance of the work on ensuring security and order for the APEC Economic Leaders Week 2017 and identified this as a key task of the whole sector, which needs the well performance of each officer. Currently, the city's firefighting forces have reviewed and put in place plans to ensure fire safety and timely rescue at venues where APEC events will take place and at accommodations of delegates participating in the APEC Economic Leaders Week in Da Nang City. This campaign was also a chance to mobilize a large number of citizens to join in the practical activities of the fire prevention and fighting in the area. 
Along with the force of the Ministry of Public Security, the city's border guard has also made plans to ensure security and order during the APEC Economic Leaders Week. Under the set plan, the city's border guard was assigned to coordinate with the city's armed forces to be on duty at 15 out of 24 venues taking place the APEC events, as well as at the accommodations of delegations and senior leaders of 21 APEC economies in Da Nang's localities. The most important task of this force is to protect the sea and river water surface, particularly at the areas adjacent to hotels and resorts where the events will take place. Before and during the events, the key officials of border post and professional divisions are assigned to be on duty at the event venues to direct and coordinate to ensure security and safety at these areas. After eight months of construction, the International Media Center in Da Nang has been completed and ready to welcome domestic and international journalists. The following report made by DRT's correspondents Hang Vo and Le Tun will take you to this construction, one of the key projects for the APEC Economic Leaders Week 2017. The International Media Center for APAC 2017 was renovated from the Da Nang International Exhibition Fair Center on August Revelation Street, Complete District, Da Nang City. The project was implemented by the Management Board of Industrial and Civil Engineering Construction and Investment Projects with a total investment of $178.8 billion and commenced on September 1, 2016. The entire construction covers an area of 13 hectares. Particularly, the International Media Center occupies 1.3 hectares. The remaining area is for parking lot, landscape, green space, etc. The International Media Center is a three-floor building. Its first floor has two main areas, including the media booths for foreign media agencies to rent and the large meeting room area, which is expected to be the venue for the final press conference chaired by the state president. In addition, there is a reception hall, security room, medical room, car issuing room, central room, service room, and other auxiliary areas. The second floor includes a dining area, kitchen, cafeteria, where food will be available for reporters during seven days of the event. In addition, on the second floor, there are also volunteer rooms, computer maintenance rooms and prayer rooms for foreign Muslim correspondents. The third floor has four conference rooms, service rooms, technical rooms and other auxiliary areas. It can be said that all the equipment at the International Media Center are very modern, comfortable with high-quality meeting international standard to well serve the press conferences and receive politicians along with ancillary activities for journalists and delegates. The Chennai International Media Center is an international standard construction that is capable of meeting all essential needs of all domestic and foreign journalists. The military-run telecommunications group Viettel pledged to support technology to tighten security management at the International Media Center with a face recognition software. When reporters come to check in at the security gate, the camera system will scan the face of each person and integrate it into the reporter's card with a register ID number to easily observe and manage the entry and exit activities with the aim of tightening security management. Along with ensuring absolute security, the focus will also be paid on the issue of ensuring food safety and hygiene for the Vietnamese and international journalists during the APAC Economic Leaders Week. With such thorough preparations, the reporters are surely reassured when working in the International Media Center. I'm very excited to visit the International Media Center. There's a full range of functional rooms, facilities and equipment for journalists. There are also kitchens, dining rooms and cafeterias to best and fully meet the needs of all journalists. Currently, the construction is in the spring phase of completing decoration and arranging equipment to be ready for the APEC Economic Leaders Week taking place in November. As planned, the International Media Center will officially be put into operation from November the 3rd. 
The center is expected to welcome about 2,000 international journalists during this major event. This week's APEC discovery will introduce to you the significance of the APEC logo. Let's take a look. The APEC logo is in the globe shape stylized in a vertical format with three colors of white, green and blue. Not only being the symbol of APEC, the region's most important economic cooperative framework, this logo also represents the aspirations of the whole Asia-Pacific region. The logo shows the images of the Pacific and the member economies in Asia, Americas and Oceania. The three main colors of the logo, the green and blue colors, symbolize the aspirations of the people in the Asia-Pacific for a life of prosperity, health and welfare, while the white color stands for peace and stability. The shaded areas at the margins illustrate the buoyant outlook for progress and growth for the Asia-Pacific region. The APAC logo is copyrighted by the APAC Secretariat. This unit also issued regulations on the use of this logo. The APAC globe-shaped logo was first adopted in 1991 and refreshed in 2007. The member economies could use the logo in the activities of the forum, including conferences, seminars, the site events, as well as research and propagation publications. And that's all we have for this week's APEC Special Report, broadcast by the Danak Radio and Television. Thank you for tuning in and goodbye for now.